If you're a TI, a targeted individual, and you're tuning into this video, welcome. Welcome to the chaos. Not in this video, but what we have to deal with in real life. <clears throat> There's a reason you have a target on your back. There's a reason. Nothing in life is that damn easy, bro. It's going to be a struggle to become who you want to become. And if you are truly chosen by God and you put yourself first, you want to become ultimately the best version of yourself that can possibly exist. You're going to be targeted heavily. And I mean heavily. I feel speaking from my own personal existence here on earth. I'm past probably the hardest part, but there's going to be other challenges as well. I don't face tremendous stalking today, but I have. And I truly believe the pain and discomfort of going through all that mess and being looked at as different, strange, unusual, why is this person doing that? Having almost everybody around you question you. I truly believe all that pressure is what keeps a lot of people away from choosing their greatest self to be their greatest self in life. <sighs> most people are truly puppets. I'm just going to throw that out there. If you look at people and how they are, they're being something that other people want them to be, and that is not who you should be. You should be the greatest version of yourself. You should be able to think clear as day by yourself. But a lot of people can't. A lot of people think the way they... A lot of people think the way others think they should think, if that makes sense. Skip this video back at the end, right at this part, and just re... This 10 second thing that, that I just barely said, continuously hear what I just said, because that is how it is, bro. It's crazy. Like, do you ever get around people where you feel like you can't be yourself, bro? You can't. You have to be somebody you're not around certain people. Like, you can't be yourself. Because it's too much, you're too powerful, you're too confident. It's going to make them feel like, whoa. It's too much for them to handle. It's just your level of awareness and smarts. And intelligence. These are the same ignorant people who want to believe they're smarter than you, but... Let's say, for instance... You're in your hometown, right? And you leave for years. You become more focused than, you ever, you, than you've ever been in your entire life. You completely reshape your life. You become who you're ultimately supposed to be. Then you go back and you're around certain aunts and uncles and certain people. You're going to be damn near unrecognizable to them, bro. Damn near unrecognizable. And some of these people ain't going to want to accept it. Some people's going to see you and they're instantly going to get a feel of who you actually are and where your spirit's at. And they're going to be just blown away. And not in a good way. Like, oh my God, you're so, you're so whatever now. No, no, bro. No. You've become far more advanced than they are or ever have been. And worked harder and done more things and went to a place that they never have been in. You far outgrown them, bro. And when they see that, it's like they're instantly mad. Instantly. And it's a crazy thing. And this is exactly why you don't belong around most people. If you're a true chosen one, if you're a true TI, you do not belong around most people. Most people you don't belong around. 
You can only belong around people who, who are like this with you, who understand you like a million percent. They have no attachment to you, really. It's just like, they could be, I guess they could be attached to you in like a healthy way, but it's like they have no, like, more outcomes the merrier, more the merrier. They're not intimidated by you. They want the best for you, bro. You're not going to become better and they're not getting as good as you're becoming as quick as you are and being bitter about it. No. You can't be around people like that at all, bro. You can't. But if you're a true chosen one, you're getting better every single year. Significantly better. And not just one way, in so many ways. And most importantly, on a mental level, and your awareness is going through the roof, the, the amount you're learning, it's shaping you into a different person, bro. It's sad to see, but most people, they don't even learn from all the information that's out here on the internet today. And it's so crazy. They'll learn in little books from school, and, and they'll learn in this, and they'll learn in that, and they'll learn from the few people around them and stuff like this, but your mind is so closed. So closed. You're basically... I don't know what word to put on this. You're just... You have a long way to go, let's just say that. I remember how I was when I was in high school, around the books, around the people, did not really, was not watching YouTube at the time, was not getting all the good, great information. I don't even know how God aligned me to everything, but he did. God will put you right where he wants you at certain times. And you're also going to be tested and you have to pass certain tests. Some people don't pass the damn test. I don't have a problem passing the test. Shit is gonna come my way. Shit is gonna go is gonna go your way, and it's gonna be hard. Certain things are gonna be hard. You have to be the one that passes certain tests, bro. But like I said, I remember I remember what it was like when my eyes were shut. I was in school. I was in high school still. Partying a bit, going to the more important parties, being around the more cooler people in the books, thinking you're fucking cool, thinking you're somebody. You got about a thousand friends in school. You're thinking you're this, but you're nothing. <laughs> but you're really nothing. And your eyes are shut. Your whole world is deluded. Your whole mind, it's all very silly, silly stuff. It's nothing that matters in life. Let's just say that. It's nothing that matters. Do you guys think a thousand friends matter? No. And you know why I don't? Because the whole thousand people are not all your friends, bro. Not even close. You'd be lucky if five out of the thousand was your actual friend. You'd be lucky. Because that's what the world really is. That, that's how this shit is, bro. If we're being really real, shit was not real when I was in high school. And I started to learn that fast. Which is why I become who I am today. What I come to realize in my past is I valued people a lot harder than they valued me. You think they value you hard until you see the truth. Until a little more time goes on and it's like, damn. Okay. And then you stop messing about. You get your shit straight, you get out of school, and everything turns around. And it's not like everything just gets so amazing. No, there was a lot of ups and downs, bro. Even after that point. You're going to go through your darkest times first before you get to the light. And that is ultimately how it works. And what a lot of people don't want to do is go through that darkness. They want to hold on to certain things. They want to keep living a certain life. They don't want to go through those times and come out on the other end a much better, more valuable person of true stature, of self-belief that is unmatched. You are truly chosen. And when you're chosen, you're going to be targeted. Hard. 
These people are going to be watching you, bro. They're going to be belittling you. They're going to be slandering your name. They'll do anything to take you out. Not only is your life path hurt, you got all that other shit, too, piling on top of you. And that's what it's like. And most people will never, will never experience all that pressure. It's the pressure that you can take that most others can't take. You can take the pressure. There's a reason why you are who you are and you have a bunch of pressure on you. That's good. Keep going through the pressure. You're not folding from the pressure. You're going through the pressure. Come at me, motherfuckers. You're going through the pressure, bro. You stand firm as to who you are. You don't give a shit. What is anyone going to do? That's how you think. But not a lot of people can think that way. Oh, I need my boys. Oh, I need this. I can't be different. I have to be like somebody else because I can't go my own way because I'm a little pussy. You have to go your own way and what is anybody going to do about it? You're choosing yourself. You're choosing to, to do your own shit. And the way you must think is what is anybody else going to do about this? They're going to do nothing. They're not going to come physically try to do something to you and if they do, fight them. That is my motto, bro. At the end of the day, you have to become who you're supposed to become. That is the most important thing. It's the most important thing in life. And you know why it's the most important thing? Because people are fleety. People think, oh, other people are the most important thing. Having the right people around you is very important. Family is very important. But if you don't become the person you're supposed to be, family can be lost, relationships can be lost, friends can be lost, this can be lost, that can be lost. If you can't even serve anybody else, you can't even have anything to begin with. You really can't. You're going to be damn near useless to society. Just. You have to become who you're supposed to become, bro. It's very, very important. We all go through these crazy times. I've been through the thick of it. And became much thicker. It's what you have to do. It's what I had to do. It's what we all had to do. So we all have to do. And you have to continue to have that type of strength, that type of willpower, that type of tenacity. You have to be willing to face some discomfort. But some people cannot face any of it. You face it every single day while these people avoid it every single day. That's the difference. Can you imagine going through the discomfort all the doubt, all the fear, you feel the fear, but you do shit anyways, all this kind of stuff, you feel that every day and you do it every day. Can you imagine the difference between living that life for 5, 10, 15 years and someone who has lived a complete opposite life? They felt a bit of something and oh, they're not doing that. No, 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 no. And they'll go and they'll smoke a joint, they'll smoke a cigarette, they'll take a drink, they'll do this, they'll do that. And they avoid that life completely. It's going to be a night and day difference, bro. And they're always going to look at you and wonder, how did you do it? These are the same fools that are first going to question why you do what you do. Then they're going to laugh. And then they're going to ask you how. That is step three. First they question you. Then they laugh at you. Ha 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 ha. And now they ask you, how did you do it? How did you do it? We did exactly what your asses would not do. We chose ourselves. We chose to become the best versions of ourselves. Truly. And you did not. While you were partying, while you were up at 2 a.m. on cocaine, blasted. Sam blasting some ratchet hoe. 
We was on our grind. Now you're withered. Now you look horrible. You look like you aged about 20 years in about 5 years. And we look younger than we were 5 years ago. Because we did the work. And this is what happens when you do the work and you stay true to yourself. And you think you're not going to be targeted? Of course you are. Because the devil is not going to make it easy for you, bruh. And that is a cold hard facts. Doing all this stuff is hard enough. On top of all the other BS that gets piled on top of you. It's just how it goes. I don't make these rules. Yeah, I'm making these rules. No. It's just what happens. It's a part of the journey. It's a part of going through all this kind of stuff. It is crazy, but it's what you must do. Most people ain't going to understand you. Most people in just this modern bimbo schmimbo society will not understand what I'm saying or where I'm coming from. They won't understand because they've never been through it. They live in comfort their whole lives. They felt a, they felt a little bit of this here and there and they did not do what they should have done. They did not go to the darkness. But the darkness is where you must go to. To find out who you are and what you're made of. It's very, very important. Very important. You must take yourself seriously. You must take your life seriously. You must put your work first. And then all the other little things can come a little bit after you're completely through what you have to do. You want to do something on the left field? Go shoot a game of pool. Go do something. Whatever. But your discipline, your life... The things you need to get done, need to get done first. Not last, because then you might not get it done. It got to go first, bro. That means putting yourself first. That means choosing yourself. Your best self is what the world needs to see. And now that, that is how it has to be. And this video being cut off right now is also how it has to be, because I'm about to piss myself. I just drank a bunch of water, bro, and I need to take a leak. <laughs> I could add about five, ten more video or ten more minutes onto this video, but I am legitimately about to piss myself. So I must close this one off now. And I'd like to make a video similar to this in the next couple weeks or so to elaborate on this and to go into even deeper detail. I'll be back.